Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. Hi, my name is Mr. Khos. I teach grade 3 at Bosman Primary School. Uh, today I taught a lesson on past tense irregular verbs. Um, the reason why I taught the lesson was um, because I feel that it benefits my learners specifically because they don't necessarily speak English as a first language at all. Some of them struggle a lot with past tense and that's the reason why I taught the lesson. Good morning, grade 3s. Good morning, sir. Right. Today we are going to do a lesson on past tense and we are going to start by doing reading a story. All right, so I started off with a shared reading exercise. Um, the children didn't even recognize or they wouldn't have recognized what we were teaching because some of the words were actually in the story. So it kind of gives them some insight into what we'll do. Um, so when we started with the shared reading and then moved on to doing some actual examples of the irregular verbs and from there we then practiced those irregular verbs using the sentence structure um, and then they basically do their worksheet. Let's read together. One day, One day the and tortoise decided to have a race. The head knew that he could run faster than the tortoise. Mr. Ho started off his lesson on the carpet as a whole class shared reading lesson. He made accommodation for the large class size by giving each learner their own piece of paper to read from, instead of reading from a big book. He also allowed for learners to follow with their fingers as they read along with him. This promoted kinesthetic involvement in the learning process. Since the learners have already discussed past tense in previous lessons, Mr. Khos was able to draw on their previous knowledge and build further on this. He introduced the naughty past tense words, which was a fun way to discuss irregular past tense. These are the words that do not follow the regular rules of past tense. So we played a game where children had to use a sentence structure to ask and answer um, questions. So basically like, it, the sentence structure would say, what did Dan do? yesterday and each one of them would have a flashcard that would say Dan fell yesterday or Dan ate an apple yesterday. Um, so as well with, with the question cards, uh, if you turn them around, I've also given them the answer so that gives them more support. So just in case the child doesn't recognize um, the verb, they can always flip it over, get the answer and then ask and answer their friends. Dan do yesterday. This rule was emphasized during each step of his lesson, which provided the learners with repetition. Repetition was also evident during the card game, where learners had to interact on a peer level and use irregular past tense to change a sentence from present tense to past tense each time they came across a new peer. It was then repeated again in their consolidation of a worksheet. Um, why I play the game and why I like playing the game with them is because when they ask and answer each other, they feel more comfortable speaking to each other. A lot of the times you'll find that some of the learners are a bit scared to approach the teacher. Or, but what I do is that I also roam around to make sure that I can actually hear what they're saying and make sure that they're saying the correct thing. And then as well, just check with the learners will struggle a bit more and I'll then ask an answer as well. What did Dan do yesterday? Dan sat on the chair yesterday. What did Dan do yesterday? Dan found his soccer ball. 
Peer work is a fun way to practice a new concept, especially when it is in the form of a game, as the tension and, and anxiety of being called up to the front or having to answer to the teacher is eliminated. This also gives opportunity for stronger learners to gain confidence in helping others and weaker learners to learn from their peers. Once we were done with the game, we then went back to our desks um, and you'll see that I had three different worksheets um, for all the learners. So what we started with was one, one of the worksheets was where the learners just had to look at the picture and circle the correct word. The other worksheet would, was where the learners had to read the sentence and then circle the correct word. And the stronger learners would then have um, to rewrite the sentence. So they would have a question and an answer. This group, let's have a look at your worksheet. Right, can you all see the pictures on your worksheet? Right, you look at the picture and you decide which past tense verb we're going to use. The first one there is a girl. What is she doing? She's eating, right? So if we say, today I eat, yesterday I? Ate. ate. Is it ate or eated? Ate. The ate, right? Because we remember we said these are the naughty verbs and they change. We don't add ed. But right, you can begin, circle your answers. Mr. Khos differentiated the worksheet so that each child could have a sense of independence and apply their newly learned concepts. These worksheets ranged from circling the correct answer to completing full sentences. For homework then, um, because we introduced the story first, what we've done for homework was that the learners had to take, have to take their story home and then circle all the verbs that we've learned today. This provides great consolidation for what we've learned in class today. So for today's homework, the story that we've read in class, you need to take it home and then you'll circle all the verbs that we've learned today. All of them are in the story. So the naughty verbs that we've learned, you'll find them in the story and you circle them, right? Do we all understand? Good. Mr. Khos ended off with explaining the homework task, which was further consolidation of understanding irregular past tense.